All right, y'all know I caught that cat for animal control. This can be the video of me surrendering the cat to animal control. Let me set this here where I can zoom in on it for y'all to watch. I surrendered the cat to animal control, and I brought him back inside, showed him a video to where Thursday I tried to capture the cat Thursday afternoon while it was still daylight, and I failed. It got out that cage somehow, but I didn't do it correctly. And I left that cage sitting on the, see, here's the, see, he's coming out with the cage. You got the cat, that's me. So you can give me my towel back, poor cat. And I had to talk to it till it's all right, it's all right. <laughs> yeah, but at any rate, uh, he going to put the cat in the truck. Then he's going to come back up to the house because I was showing him a video to where uh, Thursday evening I tried to catch that cat, still daylight, failed. But I left the cat, the trap on the porch with the chicken in it. And a coyote came up on the porch in the middle of the night trying to get that chicken out that cage. So that's what I'm telling him about right there. But I left that cage, a coyote came, man. I said, you want to see the video? He said, yeah, I want to see the video. So I showed him the video. But for the record, y'all know what? Those coyotes, man, they don't bother me. I'll show you another video from where just like last night I was watching the monitors and I seen that coyote walking down the sidewalk. You know, he didn't mess with my porch. He didn't walk up, so he must have a really good, strong sense of smell because there's nothing out there he didn't walk up. He just was walking down the road. I seen him on the monitors. I walked outside. He stopped. He looked at me like I was crazy. I looked at him like he was crazy, and he took off because he's more scared of you than what you are him. Normally, if you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. But me, I'm kind of crazy, you know. I've seen the whole pack. I've been out there working out in the middle of the night, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, and the uh, whole pack will come by, and they'll just kind of stop, look at me like I'm crazy. And, you know, I might talk to them and tell them, if y'all dumb enough to come over, I'm going to kill you just like you kill me. And, you know, they usually just kind of look at me like I'm crazy and go on about their business. As long as you don't mess with them, they won't mess with you. But see, standing there, we're talking about the coyote. <laughs> Let me fast forward it so y'all can see him put that in his truck. So y'all know that I surrendered that animal to animal control. He's putting that in his truck, and he got the cage. I told him to take the cage back to the Humane Society. He said he would. So he's going to take the cage back to the Humane Society. And I told the Humane Society they could keep the $20 deposit for the cage. I put $20 deposit, they could keep that for the donation. But at any rate... That animal been surrendered to uh, animal control. After they do their medical thing with it, they can bring it right back out here to my house and put it back underneath the house. But that better be the only one they put under there. But at any rate, he's going to come back in. I'm going to show him the video of the coyote. You know, it ain't no big deal. The coyote, like I said, you know, I know where they're living in the neighborhood. I can actually show him the house they live at. I know what abandoned house they're living at. So I know exactly where they are. If they don't hurt nothing, I mean, they, they're dangerous. Y'all better leave them alone, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but there it is. <laughs>